Now, the former head of the Met Black Police Association has told the Times newspaper today that race problems got worse under Cressida Dick's time in power. Janet Hills, MBE, says that the former commissioner treats racism in the force as a thing of the past and was defensive and dismissive when issues were raised. Well, Janet Hills joins us now. Good morning, Janet. Morning. Now, you've served under two commissioners, Janet. What was it about Cressida Dick that, in your view, made the situation worse? So I guess just in terms of that acceptance that there was such a thing as institutional racism and that the Metropolitan Police and policing across the UK potentially were, it was that acceptance of owning the fact that the policing and in the Met particular were institutionally racist and that, and that was just not something that she was prepared to accept and without accepting the problem then you can't deal with it. I mean it's really interesting you, you say that I mean the whole phrase institutional racism was of course came out of the McPherson report into the way the Metropolitan Police handled the the merger of Stephen Lawrence. I actually myself was working at the Home Office as a press officer on the police desk. It was a very big moment when that phrase um, w w was was delivered. Why do you think the Metropolitan Police, after all these years, has still failed to, to get a grip of this problem? Again, it's lack of understanding. It's, it's the fact that they've not educated along the way in terms of understanding what that phrase and terminology means. Therefore, you know, you've got individuals within the organisation that that take it personally and say, well, I'm not racist. And, you know, but the reality is they don't understand the term. They don't understand the meaning of it. And without that educational piece to follow any kind of training, then, you know, people are going to be in that space of defending the fact that they're not racist. But that's not what it's saying. And, and Janet, what is it like to be a black or, or Asian police officer in the Met today? You know, everyone's going to have a different experience, but in terms of the membership of the Black Police Association, there were support cases that we were su supporting individuals around racism, around um, sexism and all of those isms that we have. And that is something that we do as an association. And in terms of having that mentioned to the senior leaders, that is what we're there to do. We're there to ensure that the ground floor and the issues that are happening to the membership across all of the 20 staff support associations, because there's 20 in the Met, that that message reaches our senior leaders and therefore they're in a position to nip any of those problems in the bud. And Janet, when you were head of the Met's Black Police Association, did you have encounters with Cressida Dick where you raised issues either about racism or institutional racism did you ever raise things and talk to her directly and feel that you were not getting anywhere absolutely i mean that that was our role or my role at the time as a critical friend as it was termed to be that conscience i guess of the organization and have those conversations not only with um, the commissioner but with other senior leaders in their departments to ensure that there was a balance um, around the way in which they saw things. Because at that level, senior leaders will tell you what, you know, the commissioner, what she wants to hear. Um, and that's the way it was. From, from the ground floor level, then you got sort of like a more balanced picture in terms of what was actually going on and what the members were saying were happening to them and what and how we were supporting them. And Janet, and in terms of the, the, the sort of deaf ear, what what kind of things, what were the sort of responses that you would get back from either Cressida Dick's office, Cressida Dick herself, or senior leadership figures when you did try to raise things? What would they say to you? Again, it was uh, just in line of, so the institutional racism term, you know, the, the commissioner had said it, she didn't find it helpful and that, you know, she felt the organisation had moved on and and come you know was had come a long way but then you heard that being repeated you know it was almost like you know you didn't have a mind of your own to say what you needed to say so you know once that message was there 
then you had other senior leaders then repeating it to you um, in terms of, you know, well, that's our position and we're not prepared to discuss it. And, you know, th there's it, it, the, the force has said for a long time since the McPherson uh, report into the, the murder of Stephen Lawrence that it's really important for the Metropolitan Police and indeed other police forces around the country to try and um, attract black and, and Asian people and indeed women to join uh, the police force. But, you know, how what would you say to anybody who was black or Asian who wanted to join the, the police force who may feel that it's it's somewhere where they they might not be welcomed? How do you try and get people from minority communities and, of course, women into the Met right now? Again, all I would say is that it is an exceptionally good career to have to join the police. However, you know, you come with your own lived experience and you hopefully will be treated in a fair way, um, an equitable way in terms of your policing. You know, you're going to come and you're here to serve your community and hopefully policing will understand that they need to put out more anti-racism sort of messaging in terms of who they are as an organisation to embrace you know, the people that want to come in to allow them to have the confidence and the courage to step up and be police officers. Um, and final question, um, Janet, you know, we know that institutional racism is a, a big issue in the Metropolitan Police. Um, what extent will the removal of, of one person, Cressida Dick, make a, a difference to this sort of systemic discrimination? What what do you think needs to change? Because just changing one person isn't going to solve the problem, is it? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I don't think that changing one person is. I think you do need a whole new team in there. Um, and I think you need to have, again, a team that is inclusive of everyone, and in particular people with a lived experience. Because as we know, we don't have enough senior leaders who are from an African Caribbean or Asian background to be able to give a perspective. So in terms of having your staff support associations and, and people with a lived experience, I think that that should be included into the senior leadership um, discussions. And when they are making decisions, that, that, that they have a balanced view on, on, on how they sort of like move forward with things. And it's not just a one lens scenario that will fit all. Well, really interesting to speak with you this morning, Janet. Thanks very much for your time. That's Janet Hills, former detective superintendent and the first female chair of the Black Police Association. It's just gone 14 minutes.